Hi Sag, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina and today I'm gonna to be doing your upcoming August weekly tarot. It's gonna be for August 23rd to the 29th. All right, you guys, let me go ahead and get your cards to shuffle. I'll lay your cards down. I will put up a photo as well for you to see what we pull. Then we're gonna jump right into it. I do pull two layers. Let's get into the first layer right now. Get a general understanding of what is the situation for you guys this upcoming week. August 23rd to the 29th for you Sag. Two more shuffles. All right, what's the situation? Ooh, what is challenging you? What is motivating you? Where's your head at? What's your approach? External influences or people? All right, interesting. And then your future outcome, what's coming towards you? Wow, all right, half the cards are major arcanas. We got justice here at the very center. Boom, boom, boom. Are we re recalibrating life, basically? bringing order back to your life, connecting your dots, seeing causes and effects, righting a wrong here, but justice is here and things will be just and fair. They will work out that way. Um, but it's like such a major arcana. Let's say here you are at the bottom of the deck, King of Wands, showing yourself right there as a bold natural leader. Um, let me pull another card, go a layer deeper before we get into this, but let's show you. What's challenging you? We have that Queen of Wands energy. We'll see what, when we pull another card here. Where's your mind at right now? You're trying to see things from a new perspective. You're trying to let go of control when it comes to your mind. I really like that energy there. Um, however, in your approach, we do have the Ten of Wands. I feel like you're being really hard on yourself. I feel like you're being really hard on yourself. Something in your environment, man. We got the five of swords here. We got some slicey words here. Some slicey words, some like argument where people say what they gotta say to win that argument. And then coming towards you, we got the devil here. But let's pull another card, go a layer deeper and see what's really happening this week for you guys. But yeah, justice is at the center, man. Connecting those dots, seeing what's causing what in your life. Those are the things. Taking responsibility for your actions as well, absolutely taking responsibility for your actions. That's that cause and effect, right? All right, two more. One more. Sag, and let us see. Ooh. At the bottom, we have the Two of Cups, and I'm very much feeling an energy of truce. Truce. Situation. What's challenging you? Ah, uh, where's your head at? All right, I love where your head's at. All right, and then what's your approach? External influences or people? Okay, interesting, interesting. And then what's coming towards you in your future outcome? All right, so at the very center of the reading, I believe this is around home, I believe this is around family for most of you. But because it is a collective reading, I'll give you the other side of the coin as well. But we have justice here and we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands talks about stability, security, it's even like it's considered the marriage card, right? But it's like a milestone card. It's something worth celebrating. But it is a, um, a foundational card as well with the Four of Wands. And we got justice here. It's feeling like some foundation here was shaken and you're trying to recalibrate it. You're trying to rebalance it so that things can feel good again. You're trying to right this wrong when it comes to this foundation, this security that you had with somebody. Something that you want celebrated, that you felt really good about, something went wrong here. <clears throat> are you knowing the part that you played with justice being here? I think you are. I think you're seeing all sides of the coin. I, that's why I'm like, justice is a very fair energy. It's a very fair energy. And I feel like you're connecting the dots, but you're wanting to right this wrong. You want the stability back with whoever this is. You want that foundation back. You want that foundation back into your life. What are you challenged by? We have that queen of wands here, and we also have temperance here, which is your major arcana. But temperance speaks of it's a card about balance, it's a card about patient, but it's definitely a card about alchemy. You look like you can't go back to the old. You can't get exactly what you wanted here either with justice. So it's trying to blend something new entirely. His foundation looks like it's gonna look a little different from what you had wanted. And with temperance being here in a challenge position, you just don't know how you're gonna blend it. How are you gonna make something totally uniquely different with this? How do you remain patient throughout all of this? Um, cause it is testing times, you know, and I could see that you're being hard on yourself. I could see, I mean, to the point where on your mind, we got the hangman guys, the hangman and the fool's journey. It's when he's got to answer really big life questions. They're so big 
that he doesn't have the answer, that he has to put himself into suspension to gain that enlightenment, to gain that light, that like halo that's shining behind his head. That's the enlightenment that he gains by letting go, putting himself into suspension, turning himself upside down so he could look at the same situation with new eyes. And so you're just changing your perspective. It's growth. Fundamentally, the hangman is also about growth, but it's like answering big, life's big questions. Who am I? What's my purpose? What do I really value? What is most important to me? And that's where your head's at. We also have the two of pentacles here. And with the two of pentacles, and I don't think people talk about it enough, but the two of, all twos are usually direction change, right? Um, it's choices, it's direction change, the two of wands, the two of swords, the two of pentacles. But this, this one speaks of like remaining balanced through life's ups and downs. Like as you could see the ships in the background are on like choppy water. He's even kind of doing a dance. He's got the infinity symbol. But I also think it's about flowing through the changes that are happening. I really like that energy. You're letting it flow. You've, your mind is in a really healthy place. Your mind is in such a healthy place. Your thoughts aren't taking over your mind. If they have in the past, they're not doing that now. Now, not now, not when it comes to the situation. Nope, I feel like you were so stressed out. That's why you're in the hangman position. You're like, you know what? Just let it go then. Let it rain and let's see what happens. And now you're flowing. You're flowing with the changes that are coming towards you. You're doing a really good job at adapting with it. Even though you're still struggling with that temperance energy, your mind's doing a really good job at flowing with the changes of life, flowing with life's currents. Whatever life throws at you, you're more than equipped to handle it, definitely. Now your approach, like I said, I feel like you're being a little hard on yourself because we do have the, the 10 of wands here. Are you carrying too much burden? Are you carrying too much of the weight when it comes to this situation? I feel like there's a little bit of that, absolutely. But there is a heavy load here, a heavy load that's needing to be put down. Um, but what other energy came out for your approach? We do also have the Knight of Cups. Are you going to give a sweet message to somebody? Whoever this Four of Wands is at the center of the reading. But it's very open-hearted. It's very charming. He's Romeo, right? He comes in to sweep you off your feet. He's also intuitive. He knows how to read people, but very charming, very sweet. And then just like here, he's offering his cup of love. He's got a sweet message for you. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's really, really sweet. We're taking a really open-hearted approach. Even though you're being hard on yourself, I, feel, I don't feel like you're being hard on anybody except yourself. I don't feel like you're being hard on anybody except yourself. With that Ten of Wands there in your approach, it's very much what I'm feeling here. But there's something in your environment. I think it's connected to somebody in your environment. Because um, we have the Five of Swords here and we have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody went independent and there's a fight here. There's a fight about going independent, about being independent. Independent of this foundation, I'm not 100% sure. But it is fundamentally a fight about somebody going independent and it's somebody in your environment. This like it being the um, nine of pentacles can absolutely be like a Virgo, a Taurus, a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. These are just energies. So it's somebody in your life who's got that independent Beyonce kind of energy. Somebody who takes care of themselves, who kind of has a lot of comforts around them that they earned, that they work for. But they've gone independent. This is the person who you've had a fight with. Maybe they didn't go independent and that's just the energy that they represent. Because you know, we read for a collective. So some of you, they went independent, that's the fight. Others of you, it's just that energy that they have. This is the person in your life that you've had a fight with. Some disagreement with, again, some slicey words were said. Like nobody really wins in this fight. It's like everybody, everybody has something to lose. Nobody feels good about this fight. Nobody won. Nobody won. And you wanted to bring justice. You wanted to bring justice here. You're trying to recalibrate it. Things are been off and you're trying to bring that balance right back in. Absolutely. And with justice being here, that balance will be brought back in. Because um, I also think of like karma with justice coming through. Some like universal forces at play here. So whether you like it or not, justice is coming through. Justice is coming through. And it's, it looks like really positive. It's just uncomfortable working through it. It's just uncomfortable working through it. That being said, what's coming towards you in your future outcome? We had the devil first. So at first I was like, oh no. But then clarifying that we did get the nine of cups. The devil, whenever he shows up in a spread, I feel like light has been shed on whatever shadow aspect of ourself that's been kind of keeping us chained to this devil. 
at least one shadow aspect of ourselves, there's being light put on it. You're being aware of it. And I feel like you're overcoming it because that nine of cups is here. And you're about to start feeling really good about yourself. You're about to start feeling really satisfied with yourself, really happy with yourself that you've overcome this. Because the nine of cups fell on the devil. So you're overcoming that devil and you're going to feel really good. Not entirely because, you know, so many shadow aspects to ourselves, but there's one that's been holding you back, that's been chaining you, and now you kind you can finally see those invisible chains. You know, there's levels to it. For some people, it's really small. Others, it's really big. But there's light shed on it, and you're about to feel really good about yourself. I feel like that justice comes through. You're able to make connections in your life. You're able to see cause and effect. That's where the light comes in onto the devil, and that's when you're able to overcome it. You're like, oh my God, and voila, you feel really, really good about yourself. This is such personal satisfaction. It's one of the happiest cards also with the sun and the tarot. I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Really great reading for this week. Um, of course, if anything resonates, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for letting me tune into your energy, and I'll see you next week.